So our goal today um, in writing is to understand the terminology for two basic kinds of writing, expository and narrative. These are two vocabulary words, academic vocabulary words that you will be responsible for knowing. We're gonna look at the differences in organization between expository writing and narrative and we're also going to do a little comparing and contrasting of these types of writing. The lesson that we are going over today has two handouts, so make sure you have those as you're completing this lesson. These will end up going in your writer's toolbox in your binder. First, we're going to start with expository writing, and so you'll look on your handout for 1A. And if you go to the left hand side, you are going to write in this bubble expository. Making sure you've spelt it correctly, as again, it's an academic vocabulary word you are responsible for knowing. Expository writing is the type of writing that is used to give us information, nonfiction or real, true information. When you write uh, an expository piece or you read an expository piece, you will notice that there are three parts, the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. So on your handout, go ahead and fill out the lines um, in order. So the first is introduction. You will notice that in expository writing, in the introduction, that is where the topic sentence or the thesis statement is given. You will know exactly what you're going to be reading about in the expository piece. Next comes the body. When you read the body of an expository piece, you are going to find the key, or what we're going to call star ideas. You will also see transition words, and the, the author will elaborate or give you more information on the key ideas that they're writing about. The last part of an expository piece of writing is the conclusion. The conclusion restates the topic. The last thing you need to put on your toolbox piece of paper at the bottom is no secrets or suspense. In expository writing, there aren't surprises. The author comes right out and tells you what they're going to be explaining and you do just that. You read the factual information. Let's compare that to narrative writing. So on the right hand side of the same handout, you will see the same kind of a bubble and please write in the word narrative and again spell it correctly. A narrative piece of writing is also organized into three parts. The first is the beginning. In the beginning of a narrative piece, and we are looking at narratives to start our year with not our, I'm sorry, with fiction in the form of short stories, but narratives are also novels. And in a narrative, the beginning of a narrative, the author introduces you to the characters in the story. And you usually find out what the setting of the story is. It sort of sets the stage. The next part of a narrative is the middle. In the middle of the narrative, that's where we get the major events of the story or the plot. We are also finding out what the conflict or the problem is and we get to the most exciting part of the story, or the climax. 
The last part of the narrative is the end. The end of the narrative solves the problem. It's also known as the resolution. At the bottom of this part of your notes toolbox page, I would like you to write secrets and suspense. One major difference between expository and narrative writing is that you want to include some suspense in your writing. The author is going to put secrets because that is a way to engage your reader. It makes you want to keep reading the story. I'd like you to move on to the next page in what will go in your toolbox, and that's going to be 4-1-C. If you turn to that page, you will see that expository and narrative are listed there. On the left-hand side, you will see that bubble again, and I would like you to copy the word expository. I want you to notice the different purposes and types of writing when you have expository versus, and over on the right-hand side, you can copy the word narrative. Take a moment to read through those, expository versus negative, I'm sorry, versus uh, narrative, purposes and types of writing. In the center of that page, you will notice that there is a space for common traits. Let's take a look at that. While both expository and narrative types of writing are very different, again, expository explains, gives you facts, nonfiction information, and narrative narrates a story, tells a story, both of these share some common traits. Both of them are going to meet the following. I'd like you to copy these down on your bullets. The first bullet is clear organization. Both expository and narrative types of writing need to be organized clearly for the reader to follow along and understand what's happening. Both expository and narrative pieces need to have interesting content, or why would we even want to bother reading them? A third common trait is that expository and narrative pieces need to have a style that fits its purpose. So a textbook expository piece is going to be organized differently than, say, a magazine article or a newspaper article. And last, both expository and narrative pieces need to pay careful attention to grammar, mechanics, and how they are presented. The first weeks, our focus in expository narrative, uh, you will see expository in the form of article of the week, and again, narrative in the form of our short stories. Those are two examples of each of those. Please make sure that your toolkit pages are filled up completely, and we'll go over those in class and look at some more examples.